Today we are going to be making a bunny portrait. Our bunny portrait is going to be part drawing and part nature. So we're going to go outside on a walk. And we're going to find some nature. Anything you find is good. You can find leaves, grasses, flowers. Then the only thing you need after that is some paper and a marker. And you can create this really fun bunny portrait. Now that I've collected all my supplies, so I've gone on my walk and I found things that looked pretty that I wanted to use for my bunny portrait, I am going to get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to draw some facial features for your bunny. And you don't need to draw a lot because you're going to be using your nature to make the rest of your bunny. So I just make a simple heart in the center for my bunny nose. And then I'm going to curl it up like a U on each side. So there I have the center of my bunny and the only thing left you need to draw are your eyes. So another curve, like an upside down U, another upside down U, close it off and then decide where is your bunny looking? I think I want mine looking off to the right and then fill that in. Take your time, fill it in. You can fill in the nose too with pink or black, doesn't matter. And once that's done, you are ready to start arranging all those things you found to make the rest of your bunny. So I'm gonna look through what I found and I picked out flowers and leaves. And I found these leaves when I was out there and I thought these leaves looked really good for ears. So I'm gonna stick those up at the top of my bunny. I wanted my bunny to be kind of cute, so I found some flowers. I was like, it would be like a little hair bow for my bunny. So I'm going to stick that one right there. Now my bunny needs whiskers, of course. So I saw these long grasses and I thought, maybe I can cut those for whiskers. Or I could use this, that might be nicer. Let's see. You just play with it and see how it looks. You might not like it at first. It might be too heavy. I don't think I want to use that for a whisker. Maybe just something like this. Yeah, I might like that better. The other thing that I need to do is an outline for my bunny face. And actually, what if I used these little things for whiskers? I like that. I found those in the garden when I was outside. So let's turn those and use those for whiskers. I'm going to use those tall grasses to make a face outline. So I'm going to take one and just start putting them around, make a chin. Let's see here, there's a piece. This takes a little bit of time because you have to play with it. It's kind of like a puzzle, except for you're creating it yourself. Like how exactly do you want this to look? And if you want, you can glue it onto your paper. Just don't forget that this stuff will wilt, you know, turn brown, and it probably won't look as great. And it's kind of fun to just try it and move it around and try something new. Do I want these kind up there? What else do I want? I got some other flowers. I think I need more flowers up here. I like these little things separate. Eyelashes. Maybe my bunny needs some eyelashes. Perfect. There we go. Ah. There, like that. And then I want that same kind of leaf on the other side. So I can make my bunny more symmetrical. It means it's the same on each side. And I happen to find some honeysuckle that I think I also want to throw in just to add something into that gap. So yours is gonna to look totally different than mine. You're gonna find different things outside when you go on a walk. All of them will look cool, have fun with it. So now that you've seen how I created mine, go ahead, give yours a try, and have fun making this bunny approved bunny portrait. You want some snacks? And don't let your real bunny get near it or she might eat your portrait.